It's time to open the pool and have it up and running for the family to enjoy. But is it balanced? We'll show you an easy way you can maintain your pool to perfection. Calling a space home is sometimes a challenge for the men and women serving in our armed forces. But now military housing offers the apartment lifestyle with its many amenities. What does life insurance really provide? Who needs it? Do I need it? To learn more and get answers to the most frequently asked questions regarding life insurance, we have a candid conversation with an expert. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Designing Spaces, Debbie Marie has moved into her new home and wants to maintain the pool herself. Usually it's Debbie who visits the homeowners bringing along help, but this time we're helping her out. We just moved in a few weeks ago and one of the features we loved about this home was the pool. It's so clean, so clear. So the question is, how do I keep it that way? To maintain sparkling water, your pool needs to be properly balanced. So Designing Spaces got together with Rebecca, new products manager for the Clorox Pool and Spa brand to give all of us some pointers to make pool care simpler and smarter. Okay, so I see you've opened your pool and it looks great. What are you planning to do to keep it that way all season long? Well, we have a big backyard and my husband's taking care of it, but I wanted to help out a little bit, so I told him I would take care of the pool. So I bought a brush and a skimmer, and then I just figured when the chlorine got low, I would add more of that. Do you think that's enough? I mean, that's a good start. You okay. definitely need chlorine, and then brushing and skimming is something that you should do part, as part of your weekly maintenance. Okay. But there are a few simple steps you should do in addition to that to maintain what we call a balanced pool. Okay. Uh, but don't worry, because the easy one, two, three pool care brand system makes it simple, so you'll have it down in no time. Okay, just don't tell my husband. Let him think I'm working really hard. Okay. <laughs> um, so the first step is gonna be to test and balance your water okay. um, and get it into what we call the comfort zone, which is when all the balance parameters are in their ideal range and the water feels good on your eyes while you're swimming. Okay. Have you ever heard of anything called pH? Yeah, that's when something is alkaline or acidic, right? Exactly. Okay. pH is one of the most important balance parameters in the comfort zone. The comfort zone means that all balance parameters are in their ideal ranges, and the ideal range for pH is 7.2 to 7.6, which means the water should be comfortable in your skin, eyes, and protect equipment. We recommend you test it at least weekly. Okay, so I understand pH, but how do you measure it? Well, with Clorox Pool and Spa multi-use smart strips, you can measure pH and the other five balance parameters on your phone at, with the Clorox Pool app or online at cloroxpool.com. Oh, that's yeah. easy. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. So you're just gonna take one test strip out, mm -hmm. and then be sure to close it back right away so no water gets in. And then you need to dip all the way up to your elbow, and that really ensures that you're getting the best area of the water. I was going to say, why your elbow? So in other words, it's not the top of the water. Yeah, because okay. there can be different temperatures throughout your pool, which could actually make the balance parameters different. change a little bit different. Okay. Yeah, so that in the well, center will give it a better, okay. yep. And then you just put it on the gray? Put it on the gray card diagonally. And what the gray card does is it allows the camera to calibrate the colors of the pads. So you're going to open up the app, and then you're going to align this with the test strip until you get oh, the look, it just, green marks. Okay. Yep, and then it'll take you right through. So you can oh see goodness. that your free chlorine is in range and your stabilizer. And I like how it just does like the green and red so you could instantly see what needs work. Right, so okay. everything in green is great. Everything okay. in red you should probably look into a little bit. There's a couple red, so yeah. what do I do? So you can click on it and find out more information as okay. if it's high or low and why it's important for your pool. And then you can really just swipe right through to the products it's recommending. Okay, oh my god. Are you kidding me? So it's telling me exactly what I need for that problem. Yep, it's gonna tell you exactly <gasps> how much product and which one you need. That's amazing. So now I'll send the results to you and okay. we can go to the store. Easy enough, let's do it. So this is the pool chemical aisle. You will become very familiar with okay. this. And of course we're gonna need the My Pool Care Assistant Multi-Use Smart right. Strips, which we used at home. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get you every balancer so you're set up for the entire season. Okay. So we have pH up. Down. 
You won't need these at the same time, of course. Right, but good to have them. It is good to have them. And these are all part of the Easy One, Two, Three Pool Care brand system, mm -hmm. step one. The calcium hardness increaser, of course. And then lastly, pH Protect, which helps prevent your pH from swinging high to low. Easy enough, we got everything on the list. Yes. All right, so let's, let's head back go. home. <laughs> So one of the products you needed was pH Protect. You're gonna add the entire bottle and like the recommendation said, you should always add it first. Okay. Now where are the deep end? Does it have to be in the deep end? It should be in the deep end because you want it to dissolve okay. so it doesn't hit the bottom of your pool. Okay. So in addition to the step one balancers we bought, you'll also need a sanitizer like chlorine which is step two in the easy one, two, three pool care brand system. But with this product and the multi-use smart strips and the Clorox pool app, you should have everything you need to finish the whole pool season. I love it. You know, I didn't think it was gonna be this easy to care for a pool, but you've shown me that it is very easy. I don't need to hire a company, I can do this. Wow, that's wonderful. You know, Clorox Pool and Spa really wants to teach pool owners so that it can be simple to take care of your pool. It is, thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Yeah, thanks for having me. To learn more about Step 1 Balance products and the easy 123 Pool Care brand system, visit their website, cloroxpool.com, where you'll also find all kinds of helpful information on do it yourself pool and spa care. To see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv, where you'll also find a link to the cloroxpool.com website. Housing has always been a problem for those serving in the military, where flexibility is the name of the game. Well, wait until you see the new generation of private military housing for those serving in the armed forces, next, here on Designing Spaces. The American dream is changing. One third of Americans now live in rental housing and more people are choosing to rent because it offers freedom, flexibility, and a diverse set of options that fit their desired lifestyle. Owning a home is no longer the right or desired choice for many. When it comes to housing our military and their families, whether on base or off, military families have a variety of options thanks to the privatization of our military bases. The multifamily industry became involved in military housing when we went to an all-volunteer service base. In order to attract the young men and women that we needed to fill the ranks of our services and to stay in the service as a career, we needed to make sure that at a minimum their housing was vastly improved from what they had experienced throughout our past. First privatized military base was finalized in 2001. In the last 10 years, more military housing has been provided by private means than the federal government was able to complete in the last 50 years. That means for our service members and their families, they have a better standard of living than any military force in history. Whether on base or off, housing the military presents new opportunities for rental properties. There are many opportunities for multifamily operators to get involved in this niche market. And despite the unique parameters of military housing, our members are honored to house these servicemen and women and also to house their families. Patuxent River Naval Air Station, also known as Pax River, is nestled in the heart of the Chesapeake Bay. We are one of 34 bases that Lincoln Military Housing manages. We offer quality homes for our military families. Today we're in Challenger Estates. It is one of our enlisted communities that offers three, four, and five bedroom floor plans. We have open concept floor plans with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and eaten kitchens. Our master bedroom is large and spacious has walk-in closets, and the master bath is gorgeous. It's a five-piece bathroom with soaking tubs and standalone showers, double vanities. We offer Jack and Jill bathrooms. These bathrooms have shortened countertops for the children, so they're more accessible for them to use. We also have a uniform closet in the hallway that will definitely hold all of our military members' uniforms. We have large fenced-in backyards and two-car detached garages. Here at Pax River, we have 749 homes within six communities. Some are located on base and some are located off base. Uh, the current community that we're in is Challenger Estates, and that's located in the largest community. It's called the Wildwood Community, and it's a master plan community. So there's shopping in the front of the community, and then there's housing throughout. 
What's nice about that is that there's a mix of conventional with our military housing here and it offers a lot of different amenities to our residents. Lincoln Military Housing affords us the opportunity to be around other military families. For instance, when we lived in San Diego, my husband deployed right away. So, you know, I was home alone with two children and being around other families, living in a community of family members who understand what I'm going through um, was a benefit. And the community activities that Lincoln provided for us allowed me to meet other families um, so that we can have that sense of safety, we can have that sense of community. And it was because of that uh, experience that I had with Lincoln Housing in San Diego um, brought us to when we were transferred to Pax River, we immediately knew we were going to live in military housing with Lincoln because of the experience we um, had in San Diego. When the time came for me to have to deploy, just knowing that my family was had a little bit extra security while, while I'm not there, it makes my job while I'm away for every seller that's, that may live in Lincoln who's, who's deployed, makes our job a little easier because we don't have to worry about our families back home being protected. And of course, as you all know, if our families aren't doing well, then we're not doing well. And we can't do our job, we can't do what we're supposed to do when we're deployed. Lincoln Military Housing is dedicated to providing military families with a quality home environment by creating vibrant neighborhoods, attractive homes, and a variety of services and amenities in order to provide the ideal setting for military families to thrive. What makes Lincoln Military Housing unique is the fact that it's a partnership between the military and Lincoln Military Housing. It gives us, as a property manager, the opportunity to do what we do best and provide quality homes for military families. Um, and then it also gives us the opportunity to provide military readiness for those families so that they feel comfortable enough to go and fight for our country and not feel worried that their families are not taken care of. Good morning, thank you for calling the National Apartment Association. How may I help you? The National Apartment Association is the nation's leading advocate for quality rental housing. It is a federation of 170 state and local affiliates representing 68,000 members in 7.6 million homes throughout the United States. For young professionals, married couples without children, empty nesters, and military families in particular, the freedom, flexibility, and diverse set of options make renting the right choice for their desired lifestyle. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the National Apartment Association video. You'll also find a link to the National Apartment Association website. What do you really know about life insurance? What does it provide your family if you suddenly are not there for them? Next on Designing Spaces, we get with an expert for a candid discussion on the topic of life insurance. The topic of life insurance is often a subject that most people feel uncomfortable discussing. Then there are the questions. What does life insurance really provide? Who needs it? Do I need it? To learn more and get answers to the most frequently asked questions regarding life insurance, Designing Spaces sent me out on a quest and hooked me up with Terry Schuster, Vice President of Sagicord Life Insurance Company, for a little one-on-one -on -one Q and A discussion to get some easy answers about life insurance. Before we get into life insurance basics, I heard life insurance awareness month is coming up soon. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, yes, it is. Uh, September has been designated oh, life okay. insurance awareness month by our industry. The purpose of it is to focus uh, the American families on the fact that many of them are underinsured or have no life insurance to protect those families. And so they sometimes feel a sense of security because they have benefits through their employer. And what they need to understand is those are temporary benefits that only apply while they are, in fact, an employee of that company. So we want the families of America to know that they need to own and take control of their basic life insurance plan to make sure they have those benefits when they're really required and needed. Okay, so now we're aware. Yes. So now let's talk about the basics. Why is life insurance so important? Life insurance provides peace of mind. 
while you're living and raising a family or building a business, but it also provides for real money in the hand to provide an ongoing lifestyle for the people you love. Mm -hmm. People buy life insurance because they love somebody and they want to be part of the planning that keeps that person in a comfort and a lifestyle that they're accustomed to. So the whole emphasis of our month here is to take some time out, okay. look at your situation, assess it with a professional, and make a plan. Okay. What can life insurance be used for? Well, you know what? It's not just about dying. And many people think you need to die to win on your this, life yeah, insurance policy. No, that that's is, not true. No, it okay. is not true. That's why it's so important that you have the right choice of plan, because you need to make sure that it's going to be there when you need it. But it also can be a savings plan, tax-free, to do things you want to do in the future. That could be leave an endowment to a charitable uh, institution, oh, a university okay. where you have come from and has served you well. It can help reduce taxes on future family income. So there's many options. In there the are, and, okay. and one of the most important is you can leave a guaranteed lifetime income stream if you live too long, so you don't have to die to win. Okay. Now, like you said, there's many different plans, but can you give us a basic description of each? The plans basically provide one of the other benefit. They're either permanent or they're temporary. A permanent plan you buy at an age and you keep that same price for the rest of your life. Okay. A temporary plan is just that. You buy it for a period of time, perhaps while you're raising a family or building a business and you need that, that income to be there if something happens at that moment in time. So permanent, temporary, or term. Those two plans can be combined. So you don't have to choose one or the other. That's you can correct. do a little bit. Yeah, okay. you, you can have many life insurance policies, and some people do. They buy over a number of years, and they mm -hmm. keep the ones they've had prior. But the important thing is that they all work together and provide you with everything you want done at a time in your life in the future. I heard life insurance is very expensive. So oh. is it affordable for the average household? Life insurance rates have been coming down dramatically over the last few years. So yes, there are all kinds of plans, but again, the two basics, permanent and term. Right. Now, permanent, you buy the policy and the price stays the same throughout the lifetime of the policy. Right. You buy a term policy, say for 10 years, it stays at that rate perhaps for those 10 years, but then you're 10 years older when you wanna buy a policy for another 10 years. Got it. So you need to balance, you know, age and health really drive the pricing. Do it today while you're young, healthy and without any major diagnosis because we all know that that can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. And then you might become uninsurable. So today. Okay. And then where can our viewers learn about Sagicor's products and also the services? They can certainly go to our company website, which is SagicorLifeUSA.com. Terry, thank you so much for having us here at your plantation office. Really You're appreciate welcome. it. We enjoyed having you all. Thank, thank you. you. Well, we're going to have more information on our website at DesigningSpaces.tv. Just look for the Sagicor video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Enjoying your pool and keeping it enticing for your family and friends, or reinventing your lifestyle with apartment communities, and knowing your family is protected when you're gone. Life choices for better living. It's what we want to give to you. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacesTV. Or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. Connect with us on Pinterest to follow all of our design ideas and share yours with us. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.